Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the Daily Spy Report for Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. Before I jump into the charts, just want to encourage you once again to please click like. If you like the videos you're seeing, if you like the Daily Spy Report, click like every time. I appreciate that. Uh, also, click subscribe. That also helps you uh, become notified each and every time we upload the Daily Spy Report to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. Uh, you will be notified if your notifications are set to on, um, and that will allow you to see these every day uh, because they are a daily report. Um, let's jump into the charts for Wednesday. Uh, we have the channel bottom that we did test. Well, we dropped within about a nickel, I believe, of this channel bottom today at 464.67. As I've been saying, it can contain weekly selling pressures. And once tested, we could rally back up into the 477.07 area, that long-term trend line again, by the end of next week or sooner. We have rallied to within 1% of that several times over the last several weeks. We also rallied to within 1% of it several times in late August, early September. Uh, so there's that. So that area, 477.07, remains in reach by the end of next week so long as we continue posting daily settlements at or above the 464.47 formation. On the way up, that 474.13 channel top, it's now a channel top as well, can certainly contain daily buying activities and is the point that we need to push through, either settle above or push through on an intraday basis for actually yielding that 477.07 trend line. Now, for today still, I've got the 469.40. Uh, it's a very short-term channel bottom. We pushed through it just a bit early yesterday morning, I want to say within a half a point or so, and then we backed off, tested the channel bottom before recovering decently uh, into the end of the day. Now, we did that key reversal high, FYI, that we posted on Monday uh, was sort of neutralized. Uh, on Tuesday's trade by merely closing positive on the day. So it no longer has that sort of effect. Now, had we closed uh, below the low of Monday's key reversal high, and certainly if we closed below the 464.67 channel bottom, it'd be a completely different story. We'd be in sell signal mode as we continue into December trade, but we're not there yet. Uh, right now, I would characterize the sort of the near-term outlook into next week as stable, constructive even, above 464.67, uh, in reach once again of that 477.07 long-term trend line. Uh, and that is a level, once again, that can contain longer-term buying pressures. And having tested it a number of times over the last few months, you have to consider the possibility that this, this market can rotate south in a meaningful way, uh, possibly into the 430s or 440s by the end of December, which I'll get to in a moment. This is a mere reminder, if you've been watching the Daily spy report for the last number of weeks. This is old information for you. Let's take a look at the support and resistance level for today and put it down on paper. You can see the 464.67 channel bottom represented here as a three-star support able to contain weekly selling pressures. I have once tested that verbiage should be updated, uh, should say above which 477.07 uh, attainable within one to two weeks. Now upside today, 469.40 can contain initial strength and below which the 464.67 channel bottom remains in reach today for a retest. But if we push or open today above 469.40, then you should allow that 474.13 channel top on an intraday basis where we can certainly place a daily high. Uh, if we close above 474.13, then expect 477.07 tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Uh, we would expect it then on Friday, that 477.07 uh, trend line, a significant zone of resistance. And I'll show you again here where we can top out through December perhaps, and below which we can, over the next month or two, fall back to that 439.91 intermediate channel bottom. Uh, the first indication of that as a clear target would be a settlement once again today below 464.67. But if we were to close above 477.07, it's not going to happen today, 
But if by the end of next week, we close above 477.07, then just the opposite. No longer anticipating the possibility for bearish rotation into later year, but actually bullish continuation on a meaningful basis. Three to five months, I would expect 525.45 or that channel top, which is rising steadily. Of course, there would be meaningful uh, tests along the way. I already have them sort of outlined, and I'll definitely apprise you of their location uh, and show you those charts if we were to close above 477.07 in the coming weeks. Let's talk downside today, 464.67, a decent support, once again, able to contain selling into next week and above which the 477 even, sorry, 477.07 long-term trend line is in reach by the end of next week. Not expected, but attainable, okay? So there's that. Um, and I say not expected only because it's just there as the elephant in the room. It is our long-term ceiling. Uh, we've rallied with it within 1% of it on a number of occasions over the last few months. So the emphasis remains like bearish rotation into later year below it. So uh, expecting a rally up to it is a bit counter trend right now, but I still need to give 464.67 the benefit of the doubt in its ability to contain weekly selling pressures. But if we break 464.67, I've got 462.04 as a quick intraday target. We could possibly, as the day wears on, a fall all the way south to 459.63, where we could place a daily low. But if we settle today below 464.67, you should expect within three to five days at the very most, I think probably more like one to two days, the 455.27 channel extension. That is a full channel extension uh, that is identical to the channel we are in right now, the base of which is at 464.67. So that becomes the quick three to five day target likely realized in one to two days there are other things there of course we have the 45405 september high and there's also a 3 8 downside fibonacci retracement i believe that's in the 455 handle as well that fibonacci retracement from the october low against the most recent monday high in the 455 handle so that area if we close below 46467 let's just call it a three to five day target where we could bounce nicely into possibly through next week back to that channel bottom at 464.67 but closing below the 464.67 channel bottom i think we've got a three to five week sell signal possibly sooner to the 439.91 channel bottom that sooner would come if we settled below the 454.05 high from september and then we're probably just a week or two away from testing 439.91 where we could bottom out uh, into possibly through January trade. And once tested, the market can rotate upward nicely to new highs, retesting that 477.07 trend line within a month or two of testing 439.91. That sort of maps it out. I will leave you with the support and resistance levels for today. So you can zoom in or you can take a photo, a snapshot with your smartphone if you like. Um, I think that's really all that needs to be said for Wednesday, November 24th. I'll be back. Uh, you'll uh, The upload will be on Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, Thanksgiving evening for Friday's report. That would be Friday, November 26th. Uh, so we will be around for Friday's trade. Uh, and um, click like, please, and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate that. You have a great evening. Happy Thanksgiving. And we'll talk Friday.